Next, Adam Steins shows us how a local artist turns something very common into very unusual creations. My name is Scott Blake, and I make art with barcodes, uh, lots of stuff on the computer, and I'm, a, I'm an artist in Omaha. Yeah, I started making barcode art in 1998, right before the Y2K computer bug. Uh, it was like an end of the world apocalypse, all because of the zeros and ones, there wasn't enough room in the computer for all that. And I was messing around in Photoshop with uh, halftone dots, which are just the way that like a newspaper is printed. And instead of doing circle dots, I did line dots, square dots, and like different shaped dots. I stumbled upon a barcode dot. Um, and I did barcode Jesus sort of as the end of the world all because of zeros and ones. And then she says 10, that was in 98, so about my 11th year. Um, I've since done like Oprah Winfrey, um, Elvis, Madonna, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Bruce Lee, and uh, a whole bunch of them up to like 35 portraits now. Scott has a different way of showing his work off. Well, the work that I do, I'm not really interested in work that sells. And so um, most galleries aren't interested in showing art that doesn't sell. Um, and so for me, it's important to have a space that I can work and get really weird and do whatever I want um, and have zero compromises. I mean, my only compromises now are I've got eight foot ceilings. Um, and actually upstairs, I have seven and a half foot ceilings. So I'm totally, that's my main studio is upstairs. But I think it's important for artists to have a freedom to just get weird and do whatever they want, not clean up um, and just make a mess. And then something will come, you know, something comes out of that. I've had art shows in my house before. Um, And it's just great. I mean, you just take all the, you know, take all your normal art and mirrors and whatever you hang on the wall, and just put up your own work. Um, and you don't have to sell it. I think it's lucky. You know, it's, at least with my work, it's, I'm not really interested in selling. You know, my work's it's about buying and selling. It's about consumerism. Um, so it's important for me to have a space that was sort of free from all that. Um, Scott has taken various barcodes that relate to his pictures and made them scannable. He is now able to pick a barcode, scan it, and a piece of that movie or CD will appear. This has taken Scott many, many hours, and that he told me he stopped keeping count. When Scott isn't working on a new piece, he is creating merchandise. Blake has created flip books that have sold all around the world. Scott also loves to collect art. He has sent postcards with his art to thousands of people, and in return, they have sent him one. Scott is constantly trying to find new ways to create art. There's an Andy Warhol that I have where there's, um, I'm doing this new stuff now called video mapping. Where I'm taking projectors and putting them in the ceiling and projecting artwork down onto a table. So when you scan the Andy Warhol portrait, um, it dumps soup into a, like a digital bowl. And so I mess it around. Scott says he works hard and plays harder. For more information on Scott Blake, go to Google and search barcode art. Inside Art, I'm Adam Steins.